Prime Minister, what are your expectations for the upcoming summit? I'm cautiously optimistic, but still a lot to do, that we can come to an agreement with Turkey. And that would mean that we would stop this business model of the boat smugglers. It would mean to stop the irregular flow of migrants from Turkey to the European Union. Of course, it will mean that we have to find ways in terms of alleviating the pressure in Turkey in a regular way. So we will still have migrants coming to the European Union, but in lesser numbers and not in the irregular, life-threatening way they are doing at the moment. So I'm cautiously optimistic we could get there. In how far do you think liberal values and a liberal presidency can actually be very helpful right now to meet the current challenges in the EU? They are crucial, uh, I would even say. Now, I think, uh, without kidding, I think um, what we constantly put to the table is a very practical uh, outlook on politics, making sure that human rights, uh, the basic values, uh, are protected, but also working on the economy. Uh, the European Union, in the first place, is the internal market. And there is still so much to do. So we're using our presidency from the Netherlands to very much push in the single market, for the digital single market, the uh, services uh, directive, the implementation of the services directive, but also energy union, capital union, to get that all going. I would like to ask you, if we could fast forward in time, 50, 100, even 200 years, what do you think the EU will be looking like? I think it will still be a beacon. In the, for the rest of the world in terms of this is the place where liberal values first established, uh, got a foothold, uh, were integrated in societal thinking, uh, that it will still be very innovative, a place where people want to live, want to go to. Um, of course, I hope by then that many other parts of the world will also have been lifted out of poverty, uh, that we have dealt with the environmental uh, crisis. I think because particularly the European Union has provided the main solutions in terms of innovation and technological breakthroughs to, to deal with the uh, uh, enormous uh, amount of uh, issues uh, coming out of Paris at COP21. Uh, the, the, by then, that has been 200 years ago, but we will still talk about uh, the November uh, 2015 important and, and and life-changing conference taking place in Paris, and Europe having taken a lead. That would be my wish and also my expectation.